Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm sorry, I'm Darby. Let's take it again. Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Peter Parker. Because you know the new um, trailer for the new Spider-Man, No Way Home, came out. Did you watch? No. So I saw that yesterday, and then I said, you know what I haven't seen in a couple years? All those other Spider-Man movies. So I've been having a spider, uh, a spider song, a spider festival. Sounds like an infestation to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. I liked the first one so much, and I kind of forgot that I had seen it a bunch. And then when the Andrew Garfield ones came out, I think I was like too cool for school, but you know what? I really liked those. Did we get the same text? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. It's from Messy Queen. Well, Did you ever exciting. see any of those? No, I, I only watched the cartoon one that won that Oscar, Into the Spider-Verse or whatever. Oh, Into the Multiverse. Yeah, I loved it, so cute. But no, I don't do superhero movies because I already feel so powerful in real life. One thing I do like about the superhero movies, even though I don't watch them, is most, like, most of their family dies. It's just like a really dark Well, super Well, superheroes are just fairy tales, but marketed towards boys. You know, in Disney fairy tales, all the girls' parents die. And then the superhero... Wait, are you saying there really are only two genders? Canceled. Have you ever seen... Um, huh? Who is it? It's someone hot. They voiced a character for one of the Star Wars um, animated series, and John they were Goodman. doing it. No. Oh, it was... Oh, 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 oh! Buffy Vampire Slayer Husband. Hot in the 90s. Freddie Prince Jr. Mm -hmm. Freddie Prince Jr. And he said he was getting all mad at the Star Wars stands for being annoying because he was like, Star Wars is a fairy tale. Luke Skywalker is Cinderella. Obi Wan Kenobi is the fairy There's godmother. No way. Or no, Yoda is the fairy is, godmother. Yeah, and then ooh, and the other ones—they're the mice that turn into men, and they have to. That's the stormtroopers are the mice. Okay, and they shot first. So Cinderella's mice, right? Mm-hmm. Horse, they live horse their mice. whole life as mice, like just trying to like survive really right like what a tedious existence and then they get turned into a human and what do they get to do work the mice were horses they turned into horses well who were the the drivers the front and the back driver i who think they, they might have also been mice as well if you're going to give them the chance to do more than just run around and look for doritos make well i guess people do that too but let them play you uh, uh, Oh, so you did okay. So you didn't see the sequel. The sequel follows the point of view of the other characters when she goes into the ball because they had like three, four hours to play around oh, that's while true. she was in the ball. Oh, I hope they went to see a movie. I forget what you said about this earlier, but transitions aren't my thing. So <laughs> I had a really fun moment with Curtis this week that I okay. Did you guys bone? Yes, <gasps> but that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, that's not fun. That's just like maintenance required you know what I mean <laughs> we just gotta keep it moving but otherwise you'll close up it'll seal back up <laughs> no we were talking about I can't remember animals or something and then he goes yeah that's a whole gander of geese and I was like what gander is a male goose no and he was like no gander means group of geese <laughs> yeah what's good for the goose is good for the gander it's the like gander is a male no Oh my God, this is happening live in front of us. Alexis, a gander is a male goose. A group of geese are called a gaggle. You really thought that it meant group? Yeah, because it's like what's good for the goose is good for everybody. What's good for the girl is good for the boy. What's good for the wife is good for the husband. That's sexist. Yeah, well, it's been around for 100,000 years. That's an old saying. No, You're that is sexist and you have to stop saying it. You're going to get... You're going to get your goose cooked. A male goose. A male goose. Well, that's the second thing Curtis and I have in common. What's the first? We both like to finish inside you. <laughs> in front of JB. In front of JB. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was No, you're not. Terrible. You're not sorry. This is like your moment. 
<laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I only said that because I knew it would be, make me laugh. Yeah, well, I'm glad. <laughs> you gotta make someone laugh. Okay, okay, wait, speaking of laughing. Okay, here's a, here's a current event for both of us. Great transition. Guess what we did this past weekend? We did a flip phone event, a Golden Girls show at mm. Macy's, mm -hmm. Nay Marshall Fields. Yeah. Did you not have the most fun? I had such a blast. With friend of the pods, Lucy Stuhl and Eva Stiles. We were in the Walnut Room, which is like a really mm -hmm. fancy dinner place Spe in, a, in a fucking Macy's. Speaking of nothing. Downtown. <laughs> Like, I honestly... I know, to, like, I, I'm sorry. We well, I was just trying to get started. It. I was trying to get the energy up. No, it is. It's very <laughs> up. Ah! It was at the top floor of the downtown Macy's. Yeah. And might have been the best venue I've ever performed. I mean, it was certainly the most... I've ever been appreciated for lip syncing. Yeah. It was a huge, it was two huge rooms huge. and it was golden girl themed. So we got to do old lady drag. Yeah, we did old lady drag. I Which did a little old so man incredible. drag for a little bit. That was fun. Can I, can we post, can we do this yeah, for the picture? Yeah, of course. Stanley, I was Stanley. She Spornack. was Stan. And of course I performed this kiss by Faith Hill because that makes <laughs> sense. That's a good connection. Shh. It's I've never seen you. Move so much. So. It, comfortable with lip syncing. Thank you. I haven't ever been comfortable with lip syncing and and I wasn't for the Honestly, first number. That first number did not go great. Well, no, but it was also like new space. You they were, were figuring yeah, it out. And, it, and they were kind of warming up because I got up there and I was like, I'm ready. I've memorized all this Golden Girls quotes. So I start quoting Rose Nyland and everyone's looking at me like... But then very quickly with the end of the number, they all loved it. Listen, it thank fun. you Flip Phone Events. Go, go check them out. They're coming to a city near you because they what are they in st louis they're everywhere because and they're you know everywhere. what flip phones it's so important to be able to call and then to just shut the phone because that way you're able to really focus on the family oh kids really don't know that how satisfying that was motorola razor are you kidding are you kidding i never had one i didn't either i had a nokia at the time can I do one more update? Actually, it 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 pertains to messy queens because I met two messy queens this weekend. Wow! In a non drag setting. Wow! Sweet Bobby and Mikey. Wow! Hey boys. They're Hi. Hot. They all have. They're partnered. I don't know if they're open, but they're hot. Oh. Well, so yeah, I so this summer. I was sick of staying inside my house. I wanted to do something social. I wanted to get out there and try and meet new people. So I did a mm. volleyball, summer volleyball, on the beach. I didn't realize at first you had to uh, do barefoot. So I did buy shoes for it. You <sighs> bought shoes for the beach? What What were they? Beach Crocs? volleyball. I bought volleyball shoes. But turns out in beach volleyball, you don't need to wear shoes. And I didn't know that until I got there. So what did you do with the volleyball shoes? Did you return uh, them or you still have them? No, because I, I forgot about them until they're just, they're, remind, they're only like $35. If you want a pair of volleyball shoes. <laughs> they're a size what? Huh? What size are they? Oh, I have very delicate feet. Yeah. I have very delicate feet. Like a boy feet, 10. So, so it's like, mm, huh? No, oh. I'm a lady seven and a half. And yeah. You can't and lie. Huh? If they're going to buy these, you can't lie. I'm not on wiki feet yet. They don't know what my oh, feet okay. look like. <laughs> so we had our finals. We had the finale this weekend. Congrats. And we got third place. That's wonderful. Did you have a cast party? We didn't have a cast party yet. We're going to have it uh, in a couple weeks. Because the reason Bobby and Mikey showed up was because half our team got COVID. Bless them. And so they stayed home like they should. And then we called them in to be subs. So that was really, that was, I had a really busy weekend with the, that and everything. I And so I'm really glad to be here. I did not have a busy weekend like you. I had a busy weekend emotionally. You know, just like dealing with like, oh, the weather and like the cloud. So I live up on a high floor. So I'm always looking at the clouds and I just see everybody's dreams passing by my window. And that's just a lot to take on. Well, speaking of dreams passing by, we saw so many people's dreams pass them by on this episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 6. The game. The within game, game within a game, mama. This is typically a throwaway episode. It's usually those like dumb little, we bring someone back. It's always the person who like just left and it's kind of a waste of time. But this was the most fun I've ever had. This was the episodes. most fun I've had in, in a long time watching the show. And... When was it? Remember in Down Under when they mm -hmm. brought back uh, Simone and it was kind of like, no reason. why? Whoever comes back, I mean, one person, if she comes back, earned it. 
And I hope, I hope, I mean, Based, we're gonna talk. So this is being released like after that episode's already been out. So you've seen it. So you already know. We're in the, so we're in the time machine. Yeah, we're in the time machine. We're in the past. I have to say, just based on where I am in the past, Drag Race says this all the time. It's always the person who just left. They're not gonna put her, no matter how great she performed in a lip sync, they're not gonna put someone who left week two, week three. I know, but. In the final four. They're just a- not gonna After that episode, well, let's talk about it. Let's okay. get into it. Because, because this was a really fun episode. And before we do, because I know we've given a little switcheroo here, but you know, making God laugh, you know, with the plan. Oh! It is All Stars, and we were planning on Chan finishing out this season of All Stars. As was she. But she had to head home to Houston to deal with some family stuff, so we are just sending her all the love in the world, yeah. and we're just gonna keep it moving. And we hope to see her soon, but... Very soon. It's the end of last episode, the oh. top four. Ooh. Miss Kylie Sony Glove. Oh. Miss Trinity K. Benet. Miss Ginger Elizabeth Has Minge. And Miss Raja down. O'Hara. Raja Elizabeth O'Hara. Mm-hmm. They have worked so hard to get to this point. They, they really get have. back. They're just like kind of like sitting in that moment in the basking in the glory of top four. And then as Trinity K. Benet says, can't even get 30 minutes until yeah. boom. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, honey. Is that what Due said to it? <clears throat> Yeah, hold on. Um. <clears throat> Uh-uh, honey. Due to the fact that there's a game within a game, hold up. Just, there's more coming. And then all, everyone's like, what? And Trinity's really pissed. Okay. Which at this point, it's kind of funny. I understood where Trinity was coming from 100,000%. Yeah. Because they just finished a main challenge where they spent a couple days making their own shit, coming up, recording all this stuff. Then they spent a whole day like getting into drag, filming it. They're so tired and they're like, stay in drag because now you're gonna watch an hour long competition that we already filmed and we're gonna bring someone back and you may go home. I would've been a Trinity. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with yeah. you. I would, wa- I, I would hope that I'd have the confidence to be a Raja, a Kylie, perhaps even a Ginger, but I don't know that I'd be anything but a Trinity. Yeah, and we love to see it. I mean, they've worked yes. so hard. You deserve to be pissed if you want, but mm. as we see later on in the episode, everyone was enjoying it, as yeah. was I. Again, this was so fun to watch. Yeah, and I didn't think, I was like, oh God, is this gonna be, am I gonna be tired after the first or second lip sync? Like, is this just gonna be so repetitive? But honestly, seeing the reaction of the top four yeah. made me excited. It was, yeah, it was exciting. And think yeah. about the last time we saw something about this. Season 13, it was the first episode, and we saw them all lip sync against each other, and it was so disheartening and so, so like, cringe. I even think this was around the same time, because I think that the Returning Queen's testimonials were in the pork chop loading dock. That's what I felt like. You know what? All you can do is trust and believe in yourself. I disagree. Thank you. The first two people eliminated. Mm -hmm. Very sad. Mm -hmm. But they got to come back and they got to... Well, it was the second week because they, again... Okay, I didn't... I wasn't sure if they were going to do this or like how they did it, but they really did film each returning lip sync the next week. Like after... Mm -hmm. After all the... So it was like the guys... The cast judges again. The different outfits again. Yeah. What they had to do in... Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm usually not. Except for Eureka, because she was the last one. Everyone else came back the next week. Well, no, the first person came back the next week, but then the person, but that started, so that's why it started with Jiggly, because she was eliminated that night. So she had to do it the night of. Yeah, no, but remember, whenever we watch them go to the TV and get the message, they're all out of makeup. Yeah, I think they have to get back in makeup, because the judges are... Are you sure? Check the judges against... You know what? You might be right. Because I think... Except for Eureka, I think everyone went the next week. Am I making sense? No, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Andrew. Well, we start off with week two eliminate Miss Jiggly Caliente. Come on, doing a lip sync. So she's standing there. Guess who's there? Gonna lip sync against her. Oh my god. Is it Silky? No, it's Serena Cha Cha. Oh, oh, I completely forgot about her. <laughs> Oh, that was one thing I will say. I did enjoy seeing everyone get their little moment. Yeah. You know, with the thing. So Jiggly got her little moment. Yeah, Serena, can we just, can we, okay. Can we be real? The gloves are off. The gloves are off. Yeah, let's cha-cha slide over to this opinion. She, I just don't think she connects to this show. I don't, I, I can't see... I don't see her in this world, even in this lip sync, which was odd. It just, I didn't connect to, I, I, uh, are you connected to her in any way? No. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't think she was bad. I mean, I think she's a decent, I think she's a good performer. But yeah, she's just not like a, there are good drag queens and then there are people who are good at drag race. And maybe she's closer on the drag queen side. I didn't say that. It just felt like, okay, let's bring her back and send her home first again. She just taken hit after hit, which honestly made, spoiler alert, a curious decision make even more sense to me once we got to that. Oh yeah, so I wasn't mad at curious. I get it. So, so they did Free Your Mind, right? They did Free Your Mind by Miss En Vogue. Not Miss En Vogue, I know it's a group. I just, <laughs> I was just doing like gay. By the singular? No, I was, do I was doing Vogue. gay. I know it's a group. Uh, they're fabulous. They did Free Your Mind and Jiggly the rest One. Of You even have it attached to like a rope. <laughs> and I got excited because I said a joke about nutting inside you. The lip sync, I really- oh, that, so I watched it last week. Oh, I watched it as I was doing my makeup, which by the way, an entire episode filled with lip syncs, really hard to do your makeup at the same time. So it was a lot of, this is a makeup brush. I'm looking at my phone, it's over there. I, is I keep this it on what you side. use to put your makeup on? Because I, I wonder if we could get something better. I look beautiful. You do look beautiful. I'm not Serena Cha Cha. No. <laughs> no, she has good makeup. I'm not saying that. Jiggly so Caliente. I, I, I wouldn't say that. Oh, now you're getting mean. No, I'm not getting mean. I'm just saying I wish she would do a different eye shape. For me, what she's doing is pulling her face down, pulling her eyes down. I want it to be higher. But that's a personal opinion, Can which is great because we're her. doing an opinion show. I love seeing Jiggly perform. She was in yeah. her element. And Serena, it was a lot of, it was, it was odd. It was odd. It was very, it was odd. It was, it was odd. I don't remember. She squatted a lot and then she went back to the back of the runway and then she just squatted and jumped in a squat all the way to the front. Oh, and now I remember. No sense. Now like, I remember. Yeah, 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 it was odd. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. Well, she didn't win. Congratulations, Jiggly, and she will be coming back the next week. Yes, to lip sync against this week's eliminate Miss Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Did you just have a stroke? They both came out in leopard print. Yeah. Silky came out in smaller leopard print and Jiggly's had a bigger pattern. Was a bigger pattern. And they, this is what's fun because this is what started kind of the shade, the Kiki like yeah. library open shade. That's funny. That's part of drag. Because Silky Silky said you stretched it out or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just great. And I have to say Silky looked incredible. What a way to come Silky back. Silky looked beautiful. And so did Jiggly. I loved her side do. I loved her hair off to the side. You could tell she was ready to move. I was into it. Yeah. Of course, going into it, I did knew I knew what happened because I have Twitter and I, I read a lot, you know, because it's so important to keep reading, you know, like it's so, summer reading, you have to do your timeline. If you don't read yourself, what does RuPaul say? How will you read someone else? How can you read anyone else's chart? I can't believe I'm gonna say this. What she says is a little more clever than what you just tried to say. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so it, 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 uh, uh, uh. Now you're making fun of me for trying to get my words out. I'm saying I had a stroke. Again, it's charming when I do it. Try it. No, 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 no. It's like this. You do do, do that. It you do do that a lot. That went into a musical. I don't know if you're aware. It's say what you were going to say, Mama. So, we get to the lip sync, and Silky shows us from the jump she's going to be a little bit queen. She's going to do little comedy bits throughout the lip sync. Oh, this was drinks? This was drinks. She pulled... First she pulled a glass out. Mm-hmm. Then she pulled a bag filled with ice. Put that in the cup. I hope she's getting sponsored by Ziploc because she used quite a bit of Ziploc bags. This and they this really episode. held, as Raja said. How did the ice not melt? Then she put in her mixer first, which I thought was an odd choice. When you make a drink, do you put in the mixer first or do you put the alcohol in first? I usually do alcohol first because I like to see it rise. So when, here's what. So I used to be a bartender, mm -hmm. and here's what I would do at the at the tavern I used to work at. What's the tavern called? The Gilly, the the Gander. And mm -hmm. uh, the group is what you, yeah. Yeah, so bring your group in. We got yeah, drinks. It. We got gander. So I would, I would put the glass, I would pour the ice, and then what I would do is I would take my, I would take my alcohol. And 
you know, a lot of people do counting method. I like, I'm a visual learner. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I kind of put my, my, I have the cup right here and I put my finger there and I pour until I feel it, the alcohol on my finger. And then I add the, you know, ginger ale, the root beer, the whatever, the tang. We had, a, we had this tang drink called the Pooty Tang. And it had, it was a... <laughs> <laughs> I hated that so much. And you commit to it so hard. <laughs> And I start to get into it, and I'm like, she is really funny. And then you pull shit like that. And then you get mad A at me. A Because <laughs> um, after you drink it, you pooped. No. So she does the, the mixer first, which is strange, but then she does the alcohol. Crown And then oil. she drinks while she, she does her hand. That was funny. Did you see she got sponsored by Crown Royal off of that? Good for her. Have you ever had Crown Royal? Yes, not for me. Okay, can I tell you this? Mm. Prom. High school, 1918. I went to my senior prom. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was my junior prom. Crown Royal and Dr. Pepper. We snuggled it uh, in. Uh, sorry. My oh, we're having Crown Royal for the mukbang, uh -uh. mama. My first drink wasn't until I was 24, 25. No. I couldn't deal with, I was doing so much sinning already. I couldn't deal with the drinking. But now, I do it. Because you know what? God is in control. Well, not we real. We believe that not real. his children yeah. will drink well, not, Crown he, Royal. Well, not real. God though. is in control. I just want to make that control. Like, We do not think he's real. And we'll or drink she. it and sip it. Doesn't matter. We'll it, win all the lip syncs. <laughs> One thing. Okay, can I say this? Can I say this? Can I say this? Yeah. That Silky was really fun to watch. Okay. Yeah. Because. She had She was telling dance. a story. She had stories. She had little bits. Nothing she does is smooth, okay? Nothing she does is like, I'm bringing out the glass, and then I have this ice, and I'm gonna pour the ice. It's just all kind of like she fumbled with the ice, and then she fumbled with the, and the camera kept cutting away. But that's not really her thing, is it? No, I know. I liked how she was able to do all of these lip syncs, and RuPaul, who, you know, Drag Race has a pretty, this is what a lip sync is. I'm doing a haul, so this is a lip sync hallway. It's just filled with like pictures of Beyonce and like other, and, you know, and other people. To, to look beyond that for the entertainment value, I appreciate it. So very she much. did, well, have you ever heard people talk about Sasha Velour on her season nine lip sync finale? Mm -mm. The rumor is that she had, she was motherfucking ready. She was and silky nice. ready. She had something for each song. No, she, no. She had something for each song, no matter what she got. Like yeah, she, she wasn't scissors. gonna do like she wasn't gonna do roses for every single song. She had a plan for each song, not just going up against someone and like trying to get in front of them or whatever. And that's what we saw Silky do over and over again on mm -hmm. this episode. And that proved to be more interesting than just kind of the Serena the squat the squat china okay. cha cha. Can I say this? Can I say this? I would love it. If and I, I think I'm saying this too early, but Jan came in and danced her ass off and was like, I'm doing a real lip sync, like I'm doing, you know, and then- Well, let's talk about it, because I think, oh, is Jan next? No. Oh, Yara Sophia is next. Okay, so finish your thought. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, 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 it's okay. I, I would never interrupt you. I just want that clear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just think that it- I see where you're coming it, from. It was almost like she had a little leg up, but she had to come through and she did every time. So, fuck me. It was still interesting to watch. Very interesting yeah. to watch and fun. And smart. And what a great storyline for this episode. I think I would have lost interest in this episode had we not had this incredible through line of Silky. Yeah. I think that helped a lot. It was very exciting. Uh, as much... <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. It was, oh, so exciting. It was so exciting. And equally exciting was to see Yara Sofia come back. She was our next challenger. Mm -hmm. She came back. She was wearing this cool outfit. Mm -hmm. well, it was like a suit thing. Mm -hmm. I just remember it tore away in three different places and to reveal that body. Mm -hmm. Silky came back out. What was Silky wearing for this one? What was her gag Let's for this see. one? Oh, did you see the poster for the new Princess Diana movie? Not, not the most beautiful poster you've ever seen. I'm not a Kristen Stewart fan, but I... 
am obsessed with that poster. Yeah. I love Princess Diana, obviously. And it made me, when I saw the poster, Burwald tagged me. And when I saw the poster, I went, oh. What's the gag? This is just a reveal, I think. This was just washing machine. So cute though. Yeah, she looks stunning. She, she looks beautiful stunning. in this wig. Yeah. Yara did what Yara does, and she, you know, she scratched her her crotch. Well, remember, which is so important. Remember, if, if it does itch, you must scratch remember it. Remember Yara's exit. She was kind of pissed. Yeah. She we was. didn't know if she was real, or if she was really pissed or not, but it didn't seem. I do think it was real. I do think yeah, she was kind of pissed. I mean, she's done this a lot. Yeah, but that's the charm of her. You know, that like the uncharming part. Thank you. God is in control. The booty tang actually had red wine in it too. It was red wine and tang and whiskey. Okay. Red wine, tang, and whiskey? <laughs> Sorry, that just occurred to me. <laughs> well, I immediately threw up. It creeped up actually, on you, didn't it? I it, would like to try it. It creeped up on the people who <laughs> bought like it to too. I would like to try it. <laughs> you ever had red wine and Coke? Coca Cola? Yes, of course, it's amazing. Coca Cola. Yes, it's really good. Okay. I don't drink red wine when I'm on coke. <laughs> That's insane. Speaking of insane, up next, our next, oh, oh, Silky won that one. Next up, Scarlet Envy. Scarlet looking very good in this black bodysuit. Mm -hmm. Ready, you, hungry, hungry for a win. Ready to show them what we can, she can do. <laughs> and she did. I have to say, this was the most embarrassing one we watched. Like for me, para me, I, was mortified for her. The it's because you relate to her. Yeah. Yeah. The the confidence. The confidence. The confidence. I admire the confidence. It, because you have to have to it to a degree. But you have to have it. You have to. Here's the thing. If you, most of your lip sync is you jumping up and down, that's what people in the crowd are doing as they're watching you. That is. That's a May Day. That's a, that is a, someone help me, I'm okay. drowning. As someone who was born on May Day, I'm offended by that. I will say I agree with you, but also like, that's, that's the beauty of the show, right? Some drag queens are amazing and not good lip syncers, and some drag queens are great lip syncers and not good at being on TV. And this was the first episode I felt like in a long time where it actually featured what a lot of drag queens bread and butter is, which is performing. And I loved it. And bless Scarlett for the confidence. Trying. The confidence. I, I, well, we've talked about this. The we confidence. admire people with kind of delusional level confidence because she we great, don't though. have that. She did look great. No, she, yeah, she, she looks, looks good. really she good. Looks great. Yeah. She always looks great, and even this was like the even more. Though. What is what was silky in this one? Butterfly hair. Oh, I loved that hair. Did she have? Oh, you have to watch an ad. You don't have premium YouTube? No. We're on it. I've been asking for the password for years. You just won't oh. give it to me. I'm gonna get you drunk on Pootie Tang. <laughs> oh, we see, this is funny. We see these shoes. Oh yeah, so Silky Silky's, shoes. Silky's I'm not... <laughs> revealed and then she has tiny shoes on and then Raja goes, oh, she's wearing shoes from the Ginger Minj collection. <laughs> Raja, crown her please. Oh, oh flag. flag. Flag, we're saying flag. We're not saying flag. Other one. We do not have to bleep this. That was so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the butterflies and the hair. This was one of my favorite Silky performances. This was like a... This was really cute. Yeah. Really cute. And like, what precision. <laughs> oh, she's a good flat Do you follow girl on TikTok who does the baton twirling? No, but we're going to oh, have to... I'm obsessed. TikTok is in New side... Barcelona. Yes, it is. She stands on the sidewalk and she's just in like shorts and a t-shirt. And she's just very serious about... Batoning, it is so heartwarming to see her, and she's very talented. Baton is, people don't give baton enough credit. It's how Delta Burke, not Delta variant, it's how Delta Burke won Miss Georgia. Is that the night the lights went out or whatever? Yes! I've seen. Silky's back, and she's brought out first because before they were bringing Silky out, so Silky's like, you got me nervous, I don't know what's going on. She had the, she had the mask. For a mask. They say, Who's it gonna be? And she sees no one's behind the screen. She says, if this is gonna be Lagan, take it. I'm sorry, I burped. If this is gonna be Lagan. No, 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 let's take it back. Okay. Alexis, are you okay? It just, I, I just had some burpage. Okay, okay, well, let's take it back. So, so they see, <laughs> wait, you've cursed me. <laughs> you've cursed me. Okay, I'll do it. So Silky comes out and she's by herself. And she's just like, they raise her, no one's there. She goes, Laganja, <laughs> and you just touched my penis. <laughs> You literally touched my penis. Well, why is it out? Right on the head. I'm crossing my legs. I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm calling HR. I'm HR. 
and I approve this message. So <laughs> we find out, plot twist. Nobody there. A curious said, no, thank you. Thank you, but no. And they let her explain herself. Instead of like being like, fuck you, you don't do this to me. They let her explain herself, which yeah. I think is a step forward in production. Yeah. Yeah. Especially how they've handled other choices in the past. Oh, yeah. They yeah. said, yeah. she said, I wanted to go out on my terms. I didn't want to come back and like, you know what I mean? She said, I'm proud of what I did. Even though like I was in the bottom a couple times, like I'm really proud of what I did and I don't want to get my heart broken again. So I'm just proud of my journey here and I'm going to move on. And she I, should be because she killed everyone. I loved that. Anybody who's like upset that she didn't take this chance, you don't know what she was going through. You don't know what. And yeah. they're also asking them like, hey, come back and like dance for us and you might be back on the show. You might be on the day that they just got eliminated from the show. So it's like a curious at her lowest and they're like, hey, do you wanna like dance for us? I respect that decision. And I, you know 100%. who else I respected? Tell me. Silky said, well, I hope you're still gonna yeah. let me lip sync for you. RuPaul was like, why? And she was like, why not? Yeah. And then she did deliver one of the most iconic lip syncs insane. in recent history. Truly insane. Barbie Girl yeah. by Aqua as both the Barbie Girl and Ken. Yeah. The part at the end, I mean, it was all hilarious. Where she just... Where she was rolling, rolling on the ground. So good. I was cackling. You can't help but love her. It was, it was so smart. Who would ever think? And how perfect it was that she was on the stage by herself. Even though I think it would have been really interesting to see that alongside someone else. But it was perfect because it was two, two bodies on stage. Yeah, two, two half bodies, so like one. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And then we move on to the next lip sync. And that, of course, is still Silky against Jan, right? Yes. Jan. Heartbreaker. What a perfect song for Jan, to be quite honest. I know, Jan was mad. She walked She in. walked out. She walked you out. You said in, I said out. Well, she walked out the last episode pissed, and oh, she, she came back in, in you're right. ready to, to leave all of it on the stage. She walked on stage like this. And she said, Silk Silk with the good milk. And then Silky said, Jan Jan, she's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Jan Jan, she's our man. Which is a quote from Greece. So funny. And then... <laughs> Silky walks out in giant ruffles, a clear reveal. Yeah. But we have gotten so used to it at this point that I was like, whatever the fuck you got, I'm ready. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, that care. reveal code is a pretty state. It's a staple it's a, among yeah. a lot of drag queens. Yes, and actually, I wish code. I had one. We should get some. What would your, you, do you do a lot of reveals? Yeah, of course. I did a pretty notable cupcake reveal in the past. Actually, not to... Not to say anything other than saying this. One time I did a half and half drag, half boy, half girl drag. I did um, Han Solo and Princess Leia, and I did it to high school musicals where soaring, flying, there's not a star. And that wasn't a reveal and... story, though. Okay, well, I've done reveals. Why are you coming for me so? Is it because I... I touched your dick? Yes. Sorry. You touched... Right on the head. <laughs> we get into the lip sync. Jan breaks a light and... She said, fuck you for sending me home. I'm breaking yes, this light. Just like her drag mom, Alexa Michelle. They both, the ha they both had wig reveals kind of early on. Oh yeah, Silky had the first wig reveal like almost immediately. And then Jan like did her wig reveal. But everyone was so disturbed by the breaking glass that no one noticed her hair reveal. It like, wasn't was really breaking so... glass. She just moved the cover off. But yeah, I get what you mean. She broke it. Glass was everywhere. Silky, though, she, of course, reveals she's got a guitar. Well, so she's... that was interesting to me because I did not see that guitar at first. When she did pick it up halfway through the song, I was like, where the fuck did that I come from? I thought I saw it. Maybe I'm making that up. Maybe I'm being an asshole. But Jan was kicking her ass. For me, para me, I thought Jan was killing it. And then Silky came in with that hilarious guitar solo. Yeah. And she was like, like that was a moment where I just was like screaming, Jan, do a flip, do, do it, pull it all out, get up. So that's the thing is Jan, when she was lip syncing throughout the season proper, 
she was making funny. like choices like she was trying to be funny with the one like womanizer she was trying to do like with the kind of pandora box and then mm -hmm. i think that kind of didn't work for the judges another one she did kind of a weird and i think what they wanted us to see was her just going for it and we finally got to see that she went for it she was whipping her hair back and forth we did see that but can i say this okay safe space safe space i could still see in her face especially when she started to walk forward from the back and they showed a close-up of her face i could still see that like overthinking and i, I know that i'm projecting because tv but i just wanted her to let loose completely like, I wanted her to come back and be like, I'm here, I'm on the runway, I'm ready. Instead, she came back like, I'm ready for battle. And it's like, that's the thing that we didn't like seeing before, was like how in your head you were. And then you came back in your head. She came in her head. Came back in her head. In the back of her head, she came in the back of her head. I'm trying to connect with you. I'm sorry, this is all I know. Oh, I liked it. Thank you, come. Silky won, I think, by a hair. By a hair. I think by, by a, hair. a hair. I think of everyone so far, this truly could have gone either way. Yeah. But it went to Silky, and I say, power on, because the next... That's what she said. The she next performance her. is Miss Pandora Box. Now, Pandora Box came out doing her best Charlie Hyde's cosplay. She looked beautiful, okay, though. I know. Now, that's funny. That is funny. Thank but you. But she looked way better than Charlie Hyde. the prettiest she's ever looked. The problem is the problem with Pandora this season was not her looks. She's looked really pretty the whole time. Pretty is a strong word, but she's looked really polished the whole oh, time. Oh, we're disagreeing. I think her makeup with that hair, I wish the hairline was just a little further down, but other than that, mm -mm. I thought she looked gorgeous. I didn't notice that. I, the only thing I noticed was her robe thing was too long for a lip sync. It wasn't practical because it was like she was getting tripped up on it. She also got a little like But that's you like you made an error, ma'am, when it's that false confidence. It's when, like Scarlet. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Pandora doesn't read false confidence. Pandora's decisions read more of like, fine. <laughs> and then Silky comes out looking exactly like Ariana Grande. And that was unfortunate because Ginger said, oh, when they go to the, so the room, Ginger so said, if they pick a song that's in Pandora's wheelhouse, she could kill it. And then, of course, it's Ariana Grande, which is not in her wheelhouse. But I have to say, Pandora really held her own. Was it close? No. But yeah. was she fully Charlie Hyde's? No. Oh, At no, I just she said even she... even kind of moved her body and danced. And they cut to Raja, and she goes, you better dance. <laughs> <laughs> Encouraging her, which is, again, something I, I just said, to. I just meant aesthetically. She looked like no, a no, better no, know, version of Charlie I'm Hyde's in that again. one iconic episode. But Silky looked... Silky looked phenomenal. really good. I'm sorry, that was perfect. I I I saw that and I'm I'm not only one who wants to like dress and like showing a lot of skin, but I wanna wear that outfit and I wanna have that hair. Well, I thought Silky you, looked amazing. Have you seen that video, Focus on Me? The Ariana Grande Focus on Me? Oh, Focus on Me. That's the outfit she was wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She recreated the outfit. It's and done. oh my god, Focus <gasps> on Me is my favorite Ariana Wait a minute. Grande music video. Do you think that we could have gotten a Silky as Ariana? Wait, was she in that episode, the Super Bowl episode? No, she wasn't in that. No. We could have, maybe that's what she was going to wear. Maybe she was going to get to be Ariana Grande has, halftime show. Has Ariana Grande done the halftime show? I don't think so. No, but I don't, I don't think that was a stipulation. Was it yes, a stipulation? Yes, it was. They all had to do someone who did. Are you halftime. mad at me? Well, no, I just, I, did you watch the show? You got, yeah, I, I got to be honest. What I like to do is I like to stay up very late and I'll watch it when it comes out at 2 a.m. I'm very sleepy. I'm going to, look at me. Look at me. I vow to watch it a little closer to when we record these. Okay, look at me, look at me. Mm -hmm. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get your game on, get paid. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Pandora loses. That's Pandora not, does lose. I, I don't think anybody was surprised But at she that. looks beautiful. What a, what a beautiful uh, uh, tribute I, to I, I, I'm an, I'm what covetous moment. of Pandora's style. Yes. Can we say this though? Like when she left, she was like, I still don't have a catchphrase. Get it, a catchphrase! It was just, well, no, no. I know that that was probably like a joke thing, but it, it read as like, I don't give a fuck. That's kind of the Pandora attitude we got all season, I think. It's just like, that's a, that's I don't kind know of a, that I'm like supposed to be here. That's kind know, of a level of comedy. Yeah. That's kind of a level level of comedy that some people kind of default to of like, 
I don't know what to say, so I'm just gonna say this. Oh, uh, like a 1940s newsman? Oh no, they are very funny. Just so funny. Hey, little, you little sweet cheeks, you little pussy cat. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> we we got pretty tang over here at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the famous drink yeah. of World War II, pretty tang. Okay. Now that the candles are sold out, I'm gonna I'm gonna bottle Pooty Tang. <laughs> okay. No, we can't sell that. And last but certainly not least, we have Miss Eureka O'Hara coming out. Oh. I think you are right. This was probably that night because Eureka was the only one that when they got the message, she was in drag still. She was in drag still from the last episode, so she. Changed. She got into a cute little getup. I have to say a lot of respect for her because she must have been so fucking tired. And they were like, yeah. come on, you're going to dance now. But to have it taken away and then given a chance right away, it might have been energizing. Like, like the it's not over. So they are lip syncing to Since You Begun by legend icon Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Which is funny because Eureka. Who's your favorite American Idol? Kelly Clarkson. Mm. Mine's Bo Bice. Can I be honest? I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Carrie Underwood. Oh, yeah. Remember when Bo Bice was racist to Popeyes? I only watched the Clay Aiken season. Such a good season. And then I season. didn't and then I didn't care about anyone else. But I still love Kelly Clarkson. Carrie Clarkson's Underwood. Name. But you need to add that we don't agree with Carrie Underwood's facts. That's no, I don't uh, yeah, I do want to put masks on her and, and her children. And I do want to put my butt on her husband's face. Your butt is COVID safe. Yeah. It's been approved. Silky comes out in yet another What's the Reveal. It was kind. It was very Missy Elliott. It, Missy the, Elliott. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was by Violet Beauregard. And she was eating chips. Now, she was doing a storyline. Right. She was doing a storyline of her mother who lost 80 pounds. Oh, word. So her whole thing was a tribute to her mom. However, on Drag Race, if you're doing these very personal storylines, it's got to be clear as fuck. Otherwise, it just I looked think, like, what is she doing? I think it... I think... I, I got it when she was doing the working out because that was a big well, thing in the 80s. Well, she said it, but like, what about the the judges watching? Well, they were alive in the 80s. They remember it. Because in the 80s, you used to have to put on, to make you sweat more, you used to have to put on extra mm. clothes and then do... Oh, you just did a lot of Coke. Jumpy jacks. Jumpy jacks. Well, if you couldn't afford Coke, you had to get sweats. You know, eating the chips, sweats. It's very um, Kathy Bates in... Fried, fried green, green tomatoes! tomatoes. Have you seen yourself in Saran Wrap? Well, that was for sex. That wasn't for workout. Oh, uh, but sex is a workout if you do it right. Oh yeah. Or if you do it like me, it's a slight inconvenience. I just think that she took too long to get yes. to the reveal, and then once she got to the reveal, she stumbled a little bit. It got stuck. But on the other hand, Miss Eureka, while she was giving, she was giving emotion. Her wig kept slipping back, and if you know, if you've watched RuPaul's Drag Race at all, RuPaul hates when there's wig issues. Wig slippage. That's why I don't know she might forgive it. So can I start with a positive about Eureka though before you just immediately? Oh, I think she looked beautiful. No, I think she looked beautiful. Well, no, you just immediately you know attacked her wig. But I so will say jealous. she looked incredible. She's coming off of a very long day, and killing it. Her kicks, her high kicks, undeniable. So good. They her happened. Splits, undeniable. They split. I really enjoyed Eureka in this. Yeah, this was probably... For me, of me, mm -hmm. I think Silky stumbled. I think Silky stumbled, but I wonder... So, but that's why I wonder if they're gonna take all... I mean, Silky worked hard to get You there. know, you already know, because this is... We're in the past. You already know who is coming back. We don't know yet, but I will say, did you see Silky's tweet? I think Silky gave it away. Silky tweeted, I just want to remind y'all this wasn't about coming back to the competition. This was about like showing off what we were good at. I was like, oh, she must not have come back to the competition then. Huh. Well, you can interpret that any number of ways. I interpreted it that way. Well, you know, Twitter isn't real. Oh. I was bored, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. So it could be anyone's game. We find we out. Find we're not out finding nothing. out. We're not we find finding out, out. Nothing. We find out that we're not finding out and until next week. And neither do the girls backstage. No, and way. I do again. Oh God, I love Trinity so much. She was the first person who marched out. Was like, okay, I'm getting out of drag because she's just like, this is. I'm just so tired of this, and I loved it. Trinity, she's a goddess.
Yeah. She, for yeah. me, she, for part of me, she has made such a mark. I think she's really changed the narrative of her, of her character in the Drag Race world. And I'm so proud of her. Me too. Me too. All four of them. All four, I mean, Kylie... I mean, you, are you kidding? I mean, we're going to talk about this Raja, in the finale next week. Are you week. kidding? Raja, Ginger, all of them. Are you kidding? Well, so Ginger had a redemption in the fact that I think she got kind of fucked over in her last appearance in All Stars 2 yes. or whatever. Yeah. I think she got sent home a little before her prime because she has more to show. And she had more to show. And I'm glad she's showing it here. But she's kind of always been at the top of her issue, top three in her season. I don't think we're surprised rest, by Ginger being in the top. No, but no. I also think she deserves it. Yeah. It's the other three, the the full redemption moment of it. I mean, this is what you want to come back for yeah. to have is this moment. So I'm so excited for the finale. And I don't even know if this is going to be the finale because they're adding another person. No, it's not going to be the finale. We have one more episode and then the finale. So next week we're going to see who is brought back. Let's let's cast our vote right now. This it'll already be out. Eureka. I hope they give it to Silky. I think to do all that work and then to not get it is so shitty. Have you ever watched Drag Race? I'm excited. I want them to give it to Silky. Okay, okay. I, it's definitely going to Eureka, though. You're wrong. We will be back, obviously, for that next week. I have to say, again, this was a throwaway episode, usually, but I loved it. I'm sorry. I know I'm part of the problem, but I loved this. I loved the Silky storyline. I loved the top four watching from the green room, still being in their drag from the day before. I loved seeing all of the like different RuPaul outfits that they kept, you know, because she was in her different, and the different guest judges, like, uh, like, uh, are you kidding? There's like Tia Maori, and then uh, all of a sudden, there's other, not Beyonce's no mom. Oh yeah, Tina Knowles, of course. No more Maoris though, because we don't, we do not allow Tamara near Drag Race. Gun to your head, no, I'm sorry, knife to your throat. <laughs> Who are they crowning? Who do you think is going to take it all? I want to say Ginger, but my mind says Trinity. I think it could be Trinity. Okay. Put a knife to my throat. I don't think so, bitch. See, I was ready. You have to be, you have to be ready. Oh my God. That was, that was really good. Thank you. Raja. So if you uh, enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up, write a comment. If it's mean, guess what? You it still subscribe. counts towards us. Yeah, you can do subscribe hit subscribe, send it to your mom, send it to a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to see more of us, you can find us each on Cameo. Yes, or you can join us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash IMH of the show. I have to say that now because she cannot remember the URL because she doesn't ever visit the Patreon and it is something that we need to talk about. So just like, well, I, you know, I it's not... Have Absolutely. you earned it in any way? Have well, you proven that you can be trusted? The last time, okay, I'll tell you, the last time I let her on Patreon, and by that I mean the first time, I said, can you just make one post? I just need you to make one post to announce this mm -hmm. Zoom meeting thing, this like live Zoom we were doing. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Do you know what she did? She posted a playlist of her favorite videos from Pornhub, and then it literally just said, come. That was the title. The description, nothing. Well, come speaks for itself. And I stand by that. I also stand in it because I have a little cum pool at my house. It's kind of like a divinity pool. Or what do they call them? An infinity pool? Definity. <laughs> <laughs> Define cum. And if you'd like to tip us, you can do so by Venmoing at IMHO the show on Venmo. PayPal, Cash App, all of that. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you very soon. Oh, we do have other videos coming. Holland, we have not forgotten about you. We no. are definitely coming for you very, very soon. We are coming for you. Yes, Alexis. Can you tell them in Dutch that we will be seeing them very soon? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're ready. Oh, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Hold on. Why are you on your phone? You. You told me you're practicing. You didn't learn this beforehand. Hold on, don't put this in. We sehen uns sehr bald. Okay, no. Oh, can you tell the Dutch that we'll see we'll see them very soon? Wir sehen uns sehr bald. That was good. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Wait, what if we? How did we sign off last time? I pushed you. No, I. I we talked it. I had to fix that. I, I had to write that wrong. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>